Hello and welcome to day 68 of our Divi 100 Marathon. When it comes to testimonials, these are very, very important. Customers tend to look at testimonials to make their buying decision. We've seen this used effectively on Yelp, Amazon, Google, Facebook. So in this video, I'm going to show you five ways you can style your Divi testimonial module to make it look professional and believable. Let me show you how to do this. So before we get started, let me show you the outcome of these designs. So as you can see, they're all slightly different and very stylish. Now, if you need to follow along, all this code we have used to achieve this will be in the show notes below and also on our blog article. All right, so let's jump in and show you step by step how we've managed to achieve this. So when we first set up our testimonial module, it looks pretty basic out of the box. So what we need to do is to add a bit of styling and CSS to make it look different, as I will show you in the next few examples. So let's move on to our first example and I'll show you how we achieve this. To achieve that, we need to go into the settings of the testimonial module. Fill in this, all these details here, the name, the job title, the company name, the author URL, and also the image. Now here, we have a duck background this time, so the text color is, should be set to light. On the content area, this is where we need to add the text. Now let's go to the advanced settings. And here we have slightly different uh, settings. Uh, the portrait border radius is set to 100. The width is 135 and the height is 135. The body font size is set to 18. So on the custom CSS, we have a bit of code. So this is where you need to add your background color on the before uh, on the before section and on the main elements this is the code you need to add and then on the uh, testimonial portrait this is where you need to add your float right to make sure that um, the image is on the right side as shown here. So once you're done with that all you have to do is to save and exit. So let's move on to the next example which is this one. So same as before, we need to go into the settings. Here we've got the author name, job title, and then here the background color is set to white, and that's why we have the text color set to dark. Okay, so the text orientation is left this time, and this is where we add our content for the testimonial. Right, so now on the advanced section, the portrait border radius is set to 90, and the width is set to 200 and the portrait height is set to 160. The body font size is set to 18 and uh, the line height is 1.5 em. Okay, so on the custom CSS, on the main element, we have this one pixel border, which is this one pixel. And this is the code you need to copy and paste from the blog article to achieve this design we have here. Okay, and then finally, here on the testimonial author, you need to make sure that the uh, border top is one pixel and the padding top is 10 pixels. And then once you're done with that, click on save and exit. And this is how it looks like. So let's move on to number three. Now this one is slightly different because what we've done is we've added uh, two columns, one third and two thirds. So on the first column, we need to add the image. And to do that, we just need to... Um, add image module as you can see here and in the settings all you need to do is to upload your image and then just add the label as image because this makes it easier for you to find all your modules right on the two-thirds section this is where we added the testimonial so if i go into the settings here we can see that um, pretty much we have uh, the same sort of uh, structure as we had before where we have the author name job title the company name and so on now here the background color is set to transparent and the text color is set to dark. Now this is the text we need to add um, for the testimonial. And then if you move here to the designs, the, to the advanced design settings, we can see here our border portrait radius is set to 90, width is set to 90 and height is set to 90. Okay, now let's go on to our custom CSS. Now on the custom CSS here on the before section of the custom CSS tab, we need to add this code here and then on the author, you need to add this text, and also finally on the meta, uh, on the testimonial meta, you need to add the text alignment center. Okay, and that's how we finally achieve this. 
So once you're done with that, all you need to do is to click on save and exit. And then you need to click on update. Right, so let's move on to number four. So now with number four, if we go into the settings, again, we have all this information here. The background color is a slight uh, transparency, has a slight transparency to it. And then here, this is where the text goes. Now, if we go into the advanced settings, this is the quote color. And then we can see that's the color right there. And uh, if we scroll down here, we can see that the uh, portrait border radius is set to 90, the width is set to 90, and the height is set to 90. The body text color is this dark gray, and the font size is set to 17. Now, here is uh, where we need to do uh, some slight changes. On the border color, on the on the border, we need to make sure that uh, use border is selected, and we also need to select this the border color. Uh, the border width is set to two pixels, and then that's it for the advanced settings. Now let's move on to the custom CSS, and this is where you need to add this code in the appropriate areas. So in the before section, this is what you need to add. In the uh, main element, this is what you need to add, and then finally, and the in the testimonial author, you need to add this text alignment to center to make sure that it's all centered here. And um, and also on the meta. So once you're done with that, all you need to do is to click on save and exit. Okay, so let's move on to the final one. And um, again, this is slightly different. We have uh, three columns for this design. And then what we've done is we've, uh, we've added the uh, testimonial on the top and the call to action on the bottom. So let me just show you what it looks like. So this is our testimonial and that's gonna be our call to action. To achieve that, I'll just show you one of these because pretty much uh, the rest follow the same sort of uh, steps. So if we go into the, into the module settings of the testimonial, all we need to do is to fill in the author name, job title, and so on, and uh, also add the image. In this case, we have a light background, so we need to make sure the text is set to dark. Okay, so add your content for the testimonial. And then on the, in the advanced settings, the portrait border radius is set to 100, the width is 150, and the height is 150. Now the text here is uh, set to 14. And on this example, we also have borders, so you need to make sure that use border is activated, and also you need to add this border color. Okay, and then here we also have a border width of one pixel, and this custom padding here, bottom, is very important. You need to make sure that is 20 pixels. Okay, so if we go to our custom CSS here, all we need to do here is to add this CSS onto the testimonial author and the testimonial mater. Okay, so that's all we need to do in the, in the testimonial section. And then finally, on the call to action here, you need to add the call to action module, and then you need to add your button URL, and this can link again to in internally in your website or externally to any other website. Okay, as you scroll down here, make sure that your text orientation is centered, and pretty much that's all you need in the uh, general settings. In the advanced settings, the header font size is 26, the body font size is 14, and then here we have the button background color, and to, to get all these settings, you need to make sure that your use custom styles for button is set to yes, because if it's set to no, you can, as you can see here, you won't be able to make any customizations there. Okay, so if you, if you set it to yes, then we get all these settings. And also here on the custom margin, you need to make sure that it's minus 52 pixels. That is very, very important. So there you have it. These are five ways you can style your testimonial module. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing and releasing more and more of these videos as we come down to the release of DV 3.0. Until next time, thanks for watching. Hello and welcome to day 51 of our DV 100 marathon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our free header UI kit to customize your website's header area to however you want it to look. We've had a few questions from the community saying the header area that comes with Divi is not very flexible. So this layout kit is gonna help you achieve that flexibility. Okay, let me show you how to install and use this. Okay, so the first